welcome to the vlog. We're actually doing something because we're vaccinated and we don't. Screw them masks. No. She still wants to wear them, but... I still want to wear the mask, honestly. Um, I'm glad I didn't waste time. I wear them for safety, but at this point, I'm like, okay. CDC say we we good, we good. Like, nope, we're not we're not supposed to go around the mask. I did it for safety and to follow protocols and the rules. But now, if they if we have them off, let's breathe. We outside. I personally um, like the mask, and I also like personal space, which it seems like people have already lost their personal space again. And I personally like it. So. I like the mask. I like the social distancing. I don't want to interact with people, really. I just want to be on my way. It is nice. It's weird. It's nice. <laughs> I don't think it's weird. I think people who are anti-social like me and just like their own space. You're not supposed to admit you're anti-social. Oh, am I? I don't know. I'm, I don't care. I, I mean, I'll say hi. Like, I'm very extroverted if I need to be, like, Especially military settings, like you have to be extroverted to survive. Y'all know what I'm talking about, military people. <laughs> but I actually like being, you know, masked up. The United States Department of Commerce. Woo, get that money. And this is the Ronald Reagan Trade Center. It's the um, National Trade Center, just like they have in New York, but this is Ronald Reagan's building. And then over here is a really cool building that I don't know. <laughs> um, it's just so nice to be in downtown, you guys. So Where's we're that place in DC? Remember when we were leaving Montana? I forgot what she called it. She said we have to oh, visit. Oh, I honestly I don't remember. I really Walk don't. That restaurant? That yeah, I don't remember. Okay. Um, remember what that restaurant was this girl when we were leaving Montana literally on our last week here she's like you have to eat here it's like the best and she's from this area and it wasn't a restaurant it was like a oh I thought it was, it was like a hangout area oh where you go and walk well we failed because we don't remember oops go this tired? no I was trying to <laughs> so you breathed like <laughs> doing um muscle burn muscle burns fat and my legs hurt so bad and you guys know I'm not really as active or I wasn't active at all throughout my pregnancy so I am out of shape I'm not gonna even lie or front that I am so yeah and it's weird being out right like I spent my whole quarantine in or the whole year pretty much inside so it's weird like being out and breathing and not breathing through a mask. So, yeah. And then I'm trying to keep up pace with you, so. Are you tired? with pork belly on it. Um, it has tomato base at the bottom and then I believe some sort of sprouts at the top. And then we also got the buttermilk biscuits um, with honey butter and some jam. They didn't specify what type of jam. And Lewis says it's all right.
just got done eating at Yarnbird. I would give it five out of five restaurant stars. Liz, what'd you give it? Five, five. Five out of five. Did you like the chicken and waffle and watermelon? Yeah, it was, it's an interesting mix, but it, it worked for some reason. And it was spicy watermelon and the waffle had um, watermelon in it and it had wa watermelon and cherry cheese in it. And then with the chicken, it was, it was a weird mixture, but it, it works. I don't know. I tried it. The watermelon was you like. I tried it when it's kind of cold though too. I know. Okay, we had twin life happening. So we, I had to nurse the boys and it, the watermelon was um, very interesting. It was sweet and then I got hit with the cayenne, so spice, and then I got hit with the mint and then I feel like there was salt on there too. It was something else. But, I they, mean, it was good. It, it was, was just, good. It, was, it wasn't bad. It was, they just put a bunch of stuff on there. I had the braised short ribs, sweet tea braised short ribs, very, very good melt in your mouth i thought it was great at first i thought it was a little bland I tried it and um i thought it was good until i ate it with the pickled carrots pepper mashed potatoes regular carrots on the bottom it was when i put them all together it made sense at first eating it by itself i was like mm. yeah it's definitely they, with everything on their plate they put it there for you to eat it together together like you put a little bit of everything on your fork to get all the savory all the flavors it's, all the flavors it's one of those type of restaurants yeah <laughs> it was really good though i highly recommend it so if you are visiting dc or in the dc area check out yardbird they're also in la miami and Singapore. oh yeah and la las vegas i think i saw dallas singapore new york and i can't remember miami i think it was miami one. there's another one um try it definitely it was so good bring your wallet <laughs> yeah, it ain't cheap yeah. it's worth it but it ain't cheap it's, i would say it's equivalent to ruth ruth's chris prices so if you're used to like a mid-level tier steakhouse where it the pricing kind of starts 30 where everything's like a la carte 30 and upwards yeah. and everything's a la carte with a separate price do that oh i forgot to mention we tried their grits as well their grits were good, but I liked it in the gravy from the short ribs. So if you get their grits, their grits are good, but they are, um, they're not as liquidy. So if you like more liquid um, grits, then they're more dense. Okay, now we have to walk the 24 minutes. So now we're on our way home with these two. It'll be easier because we're not trying to make a time. Yeah, we're that's true. So that's it for today's vlog because I want to try and be better since I have no excuse while I'm on maternity leave. Um, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We will catch you guys in our next video. Say bye. 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 Push the stroller.